Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to work with uh, Laravel routing from inside the laravel.com inside the documentation the basics and here are the routing and I have, inst I have installed the fresh Laravel application called it example example.test and if I open the terminal See to that uh, application. Uh, I'm going to zoom it. Okay. And here we have the example. Okay. Exam. <laughs> example. I'm going to open with a code. And to show you, we are inside this. We I'm going to inside the resources views welcome page. I'm going to the HTML. Sorry. And that's one. Laravel routing. If I save now, go here, refresh Laravel routing. I don't write it correctly. Save, refresh. Okay. So inside this, we have the example of some routes. Here we, we have the road cat request to the user and we have the user controller class and this is the index method a valuable root method is uh, get request post request put request patch request delete request and option request uh, get post put request and delete request is the most common we use and redirect routes view routes and a route with a parameter okay so first thing if i go to the laravel application and inside the routes directory you have this web.route here are the routes register so by default there are very common with this route road get slash and return in this view welcome and this view is inside the views and welcome Okay, so if I make another one, uh, test for example, And I'm going to return a view test. We don't have this view. Save and I'm going to create this one. So a new file here and test dot blade. Sorry. rename it test dot blade dot php and I'm going to add the HTML5 emmet this one inside the test save so here you make a request of the test if I uh, see and return the view test and this view is inside the view test okay so when we go to the test we return this view so if i go now to the example the test and go to the test inside the test application okay now if if i see here and view routes 
this is if you just want to show the road the view is this is more uh, good way to do it and so I'm going to comment it this and add another one road view and where we go to the test if you want to just name it the view and in our case is test if I save and go here refresh we have the same thing okay but this uh, yeah, is more good in this way you see just this just show what where the user is going and show the view where the view is uh, another thing I want to show you is is uh, with the parameters so where we and just I'm going to copy this one go inside the web and I'm going to where we go to the user.id we we got the user slash and this inside this code braces we can put anything so user slash uh, one or slash two or slash john or anything we can put here and we handle this id so this is this id is the same thing with if we change it the name we can we need to change it here and return in, just return the string user and concatenated with the ID here so if I save now and go to this slash user user and one and user one if I change it to two user two so we pass it two here we handle it down there if I put it uh, John and user John okay we can put as many as we want so post one and comment another one and here is with a request so if you put something with a form we handle it with a request but we are going to work with forms in future so just we leave it here and this is optional parameter so if you copy here and go here and I'm just going to comment it out and put it here username so if we want to put the name we handle it if we don't want it's no problem it's not going to give us an error because so if I go here uh, I make it save it first and if I go here now and uh, yeah we have user and name so if just put the user it's not showing nothing okay but uh, if I put the John now John is going to do John do but we if I comment it out and come over there and if I save now if we don't put anything here we're going to give us an error not found because here we expected the ID and now in this case we expect the name or associated with the node so if we don't put anything no problem okay another one we want to show regular expression and another one I'm going to show is with the 
with controllers because if you're going to create a a good application you need to work with most cases you, if you work with Laravel you work with the uh, controllers and this handle the request so I'm going to this code and create a controller PHP artisan make controller and I'm going to yeah test controller He's going to create a controller for us. So if I go here, now inside the app director, HTTP controllers, we have the test controller. And if I make it, I make a function here, a method. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to call it a uh, index we don't need nothing here and I'm going just to return a view and the view is test if I save now it's the same thing with return return in the view the method or action is index so if I go here now and inside this I'm going to comment this out and we inside this or just above here I'm going to make another one root and get request and we're going to the test now I need the controller so test controller and make sure you import that controller over here class and the method is index if I save now so when we go into this test we tell them Laravel go to this controller with that index and this and that method and this is going to handle that view so index is going to return this te the test uh, view so you know if I go to and just uh, you test okay we have a test here and sure we if we want to some to put the parameter of there just we, we handle it here so name it's going to null and to put it inside the view we pass it the name and associated with the variable name we have here if I save now go to the test and inside the test name is and in Laravel blade we have the double curly braces to show the variables so name or now think if I save now we need one more step here name save if I refresh I think we not found. Ah, yeah. Okay, inside the name is, but if I pass the name and uh, just John, name is John, okay? And that's it with the test controller. And this is for this video. Please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one. Thank you very much.